Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with a plan, even in these crazy times, and my dad, Bob Payne. Good morning, dad. How you holding up here? Yeah, there's no question about it. Things are crazy right now. Ryan, believe it or not, I've been sleeping like a baby. I've been waking up every two hours crying. <laughs> that sounds about right, actually. I'd say right now, that sounds pretty accurate. There is really no downtime right now, especially with the markets going up and down every single day and new news about the coronavirus. I mean, it just seems like an onslaught every single day when you wake up going out to, for the races, basically. Yeah, it is. It's been very overwhelming. And you know, plus, we're, you know, we're staying at home. There's nowhere to go. I can't see my children. Well, I can see you on the screen, but you know, I'd like to be able to hug you and give you, a, you know, and get together with you. Yeah. Well, hopefully before long, we'll get back to it. But in the meantime, Bob, I know we're getting a lot of questions. We're talking to our clients every single day and we're learning a lot from this market because this market is unprecedented. We've had one of the biggest drops ever in the history of the stock market. Actually, it's the fastest drop ever, along with just all the information every day we're getting about the coronavirus and the economy being shut down. So we're going to talk today a little bit about some of the lessons you and I have learned and what we're doing with our clients. We're also going to talk about getting a coronavirus investment game plan in place. There's a lot of proactive things you can be doing right now with your portfolio to make sure you're setting yourself up for retirement for the long term. Mm -hmm. uh, along with this week's financial propaganda, there's so much news out there right now. It's like drinking from a fire hose, as you like to say, Bob. What news is good? What news is bad? What should you be discerning about. We're going to break it down for you and tell you what news you should be looking at. Along with our spotlight segment today, we're going to have our certified financial planner, Courtney C. Money Dominguez on the show. She's going to break down a real retirement plan for you. So let's, let's hop to it. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan in these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out, make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out. It's time for financial propaganda of the week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance so we can help protect you from making any ill-advised financial decisions. And Bob, you know, let's get right into it. There's a lot that's changed in the last week. Obviously, the market volatility has been tremendous. We saw some big days up this week, which uh, we hadn't seen that in a very, very long time. So, you know, from our perspective, you know, we saw some good news in the sense that we have this $2 trillion package coming from Washington. What do you make of all the uh, recent data that's coming out? You know, Rob, we've been through a lot of crises. I mean, I have over 46 years and you have as well. And, you know, they're always different, okay, but they never feel very good, you know, when you're going through them. But we do know there is light at the end of the tunnel. Now, you know, when, you're, when you look at the swings we're seeing in the markets, you don't see those type of huge point swings in good markets. You see them in bad markets. Um, That's right. So, yeah. So, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's like it's, it, you feel awful when it's like, oh, the worst day ever. And then it's like, oh, the best day ever, but it doesn't even cancel each other out. So, but I think what's, you know, really it's different here is that we just threw a switch and we just decided to turn off the global economy. So we're in a recession and the government's going to do what it can to get us out of that recession. But I think we all have to keep in mind at some point in the future, that switch is going to be turned the other way and we're going to resume where we were. But in the meantime, you know, you, you're going to have to navigate, you know, through all this volatility. Yeah, and I think we saw some good news this last week. I mean, especially with this stimulus package, looks like it's going to be passed. And the market had just some huge updates, which we hadn't seen at all. It's just mm -hmm. been a downward spiral. But I think it's just a reminder, to your point about the economy, at some point is going to come back on. I don't think it's going to be one magical uh, you know, turn on the lights and that's it, because different parts of the world right now 
are in different phases of this coronavirus. Like, for instance, some other good news is China is actually starting to come back online, which is a very promising thing when we start to project out. And that's the hardest thing. It's about being an investor. It's so counterintuitive, right? We know the coronavirus was around for a little bit before the market actually did react to it. You know, the news is going to keep getting worse because all the things that happened, right, that with the, all the economy slowing down with a global recession, you're going to see earnings come in lower than expected. GDP numbers go down. You're going to see unemployment numbers go up. But these are lagging indicators. In other words, this stuff's going to come out long after it's happened. And as an investor, you think, oh, my goodness, things are really bad. And I should, you know, I should get out. But, you know, in 2008, 2009, you go back to 2009, the market bottomed early in 2009, the news didn't get better until the end of the summer, right? I mean, so, you know, it's uh, the market's smarter than we are. Yeah. And I think that's an important point here is, you know, when you're trying to dissect through all the news going out there, I think some of the news that you don't want to pay attention to is all the negativity because the numbers, to your point, Bob, they're going to come in worse and worse. But because the market is what we call a discounting mechanism for the future, the market's going to be ahead of the news. So most likely the market is going to continue to bounce even as the news is getting worse, which sounds counterintuitive, but that's why it's kind of important here to be filtering out how many new cases of the coronavirus are we seeing today? You know, remember the market's already past that when, by the time we're getting that news. Exactly right. That's the thing. It's a, the, like you say, the market's a discounting mechanism. So what you can do is you can keep your portfolio balanced. If you have to rebalance it, then you do it. And if the market goes down further, you rebalance again. But you got to stay in the game because it's the only chance you have to achieve your goals. You know, I've been in the industry a long time, and one of the things that I realized, you know, through this horrible month that we just had is that most of the money that I've made for my own family's portfolio and for my clients, most of the return comes during bear markets. It's when you really make the best decisions that leads to the best returns that you're ever going to have in your account. That's a good point because right here, the worst thing you can do, and we talked about this last week and we talked about this a lot on our different calls that we're having, is you don't want to panic. We've never had someone who panicked during a bear market that ever recouped those losses before. Whereas if you were able to ride it out, stick to your discipline here, you've always been rewarded. And I think that's really, really important. You know, No matter if you're a millennial or you're a baby boomer, I think two things to look at though, Bob, differently. If I'm a baby boomer right now, the first thing I'd want to do is figure out what are my income needs and how much income does my portfolio generate? I think they're two really important things to find out right now as you're analyzing, is your portfolio suitable, given the fact that maybe you're close to retirement or you're already in retirement now. Income is really important because one of the things that I do for all my clients on a monthly basis is we send over the income from their portfolio directly to their checking account, their local bank account, you know, so that they can go out and enjoy their lives. So it's really important that that money keeps coming in. And the nice thing about dividends, nice thing about interest on your bond portfolio is they're not affected by whether or not the stock market went up or down or whether or not the economy you know, went into a, a near-term recession. It, that's right. So that's an important thing to remember. Your, your income doesn't stop because the market is down if you have the right investment portfolio. That rental income continues to come in. And I think that's a really important point. And that's why if you're going to do an analysis of your portfolio right now, figure out what income it generates. And potentially, it's also a good time to maybe reallocate to increase the income on your portfolio and diversify a little bit better. While the tide's down here, it's, I think it's a great time to just reevaluate your portfolio and see what proactive moves you can make. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I'd love to get a reassessment. I realize the market's down. I want to make good decisions, not bad decisions. Well, here's your shot to do it. We still have five slots left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our famous total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review, a full assessment to make sure you're on track for retirement. All you need to do is get those statements together. We can send them to us secured through an email. We're actually doing Zoom video calls right now since we can't meet face-to-face. -face. And what we're going to do for you is we're going to take all that data from all your statements, and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. So you can take a look at your entire net worth at a bird's eye view and we can start looking at all those critical things. We're going to look at income. You need an income plan for retirement. Do you have an income plan? We're going to show you how to build one and how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you have a stream of income to fill in your income gap for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Maybe you did get hit really hard over the last couple of weeks. Maybe you don't want to make that mistake again. We're going to show you how to protect 
and bulletproof your portfolio so it's better protected for retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you can probably reduce right now. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are in your portfolio on a lot of those high cost mutual funds, insurance products, annuities. We're going to show you how to reduce costs and then optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's a lot of things you can do proactively right now from tax swaps, Roth conversions. We're going to show you exactly how to do that so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into our famous total financial master plan and determine that most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. If you're one of our next five callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. My son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob and I'm with my son, Rye. And we're the pains of No Pain, No Game Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne. It's Bob Payne. No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you get the most common sense advice for your planning and investing, because hence, we do everything common sense. And that's why we put together our latest guide, Five Ways to Save on Taxes in 2020. And we give you all the highlights from the new Secure Act. There's some new ways you can save on taxes this year. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish, the 555 555- 888, we give you five ways to save on taxes in 2020. Some things you can even apply to 2019. There's still time to do that. Plus, you get all the new highlights from the new SECURE Act. So there's different ways you can save on taxes this year. Money saved in taxes, just as green as any money you can make invested. You can download the guide for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, 555-888. So, Bob, why don't we discuss some proactive strategies you can move on considering the current market environment we're currently in. There's definitely things that we've been doing for clients that I think are really helpful for our listeners right now that you can do in the same thing. You know, Ryan, the number one thing is you make sure you have diversified, diversified, diversified. Now, you know, I think our industry talks about that all the time, but we, you know, you and I, as you say, are simple men and we like to keep it <laughs> simple. And we look at a portfolio as a three-legged stool. So what are the legs of that stool, Ryan, that everybody should have? Sure. The way we build portfolios are you have your stocks as a component of it, but you also have that high quality portfolio bonds, which we talked about in the last segment. That's what protects you in these downturns. But you also want to have what we call alternative investments. And that's essentially investments that may work when stocks aren't. Things like commodities. Real estate can be another thing in your portfolio that can be a diversifier. Yeah, but right. How does someone know how much to have in bonds, how much to have in income generating real estate, how much to have you know, in the stock market. How do you know that? Well, it goes back to what we always talk about. That's goal-based planning, Bob. So really, again, you got to determine what your goals are first, and then we can reverse engineer that. Because if you're close to retirement, retired now, you want to have a lot more money in high quality bonds that come due than someone say maybe in their thirties, that's just starting to save for retirement. Yeah. And that's how you be proactive because the market's going to adjust your allocation accordingly, right? You just had a a drop in the equity market, but your bonds held up really well. So now you have money that's coming in from interest and dividends. So you can rebalance that portfolio. You know, right, when we put this whole strategy together, what we realize is that there's a lot of investors who think they've got to be right every day. And what we found is there's a real problem because if you're not right, the opposite of being exactly correct is what? Exactly wrong, Yes, Uh, which is critical in this business because when you're investing your money, you can be approximately right. Then in the worst case scenario, like now you're only approximately wrong and that's a lot less painful. No pun intended, Bob. Yeah. And the other thing is based on the historical rate of return of a diversified portfolio, as you get older, the safer it should be. And if you run your wealth projection every year, if somebody's actually you know, overseeing your plan every year, it tells you how to adjust to these things. So 
you know, it's, yeah, hey, I don't care what you have your portfolio in right now. You're down from where you were a month ago. But the less damage has been done if you follow a strategy based on your goals and you can be proactive by letting the market dictate your solution. Yeah. And one thing you think about here proactively, because this is really about the market being down, what you can do proactively is it's a good time to maybe diversify your money. Because the one thing we found is when you come out of periods like this, like a bad bear market, the leaders that were leading the market before the market went down are typically different. So right now, it's probably not a bad time to spread out that risk over different asset classes or that three-legged stool, like you mentioned, Bob, because it's kind of like the tides come down, you're in a boat right now that has holes in it, it's kind of sinking, but you can jump over to another boat at the same values right now that's much sturdier. So when the tide goes up again, you're much better positioned to reap the benefits of that next bull market. And that's why, you know, Rai, your advice in the earlier segment was to stop watching television. If I see <laughs> one more person tell me how, well, I got out of everything in January, I mean, that's not a strategy. That's a gamble, you know, and they're the yeah. same people who told me they go to the Atlantic City casinos and they win every night. You know, you don't want to be a gambler. You don't want to be a speculator. You want to be an investor, diversify with a three-legged stool. That's right. So that's one. So three other things you can do here that are they're very advantageous we've been doing for our clients is number one, tax swaps. Oh, yeah. So there's nothing wrong if something's down in value right now and you can swap to a like investment, something similar. So you're still in the market, but you can book that tax loss, Bob. That's a tremendous opportunity right now to make the government pay for your losses. Yeah, it's really nice to get the IRS to participate with us for a change instead of just, uh, you know, it's nice that they're postponing when we have to send them taxes, but it didn't eliminate the fact we got to send them taxes. And I'd like to send less. So you can take, you know, some good news out of a disaster. You can take in a, a portfolio, whether it's a mutual fund, an individual stock, an individual bond, even one of those dreaded bond funds, you can sell them and swap them into something similar, write it off against your taxes and still be in a position to win. Yeah. Another tax strategy on top of that you can do is maybe look at Roth conversions right now. So maybe your retirement account value has gone way down. It might not be a bad time to actually convert that, pay the taxes on it now into what we call a Roth account where that money, when the tide goes up again, is growing tax-free and then eventually you'll be able to take that money out tax-free on all that growth. Now, you should work with your financial planner, your CPA on these things. These are two really effective strategies you might want to look at right now to take advantage of some tax benefits that are only here because the market's actually down. So, Ra, you're actually telling me there's a silver lining in my statement being down? There is, Bob, but you have to be proactive about it. And again, get your tax professional and your financial advisor involved. Hey, Ra, that's terrific. You know, you really do want to be proactive. And I agree with you. Stop watching TV, but, you know, don't stop being an investor. You know, you're going to retire someday. You have goals. You get children to educate. You know, none of your goals have went away just because of the coronavirus. So, we got to make sure that we're being proactive in our strategy if you're thinking to yourself, you know, maybe I'm not as diversified as I need to be. You know, I'm not sure I understand tax swaps. I want to make sure I do it correctly. I want to do some Roth conversions. Well, if I need some advice on this, here's your chance. So all you have to do is be one of our next eight callers and have saved 500000 for retirement because if, and if you do call, what Brian and I will do for you is create your own 360 financial portal. Now, think about a financial GPS, you know, not unlike the GPS you have in your car or your truck out in the driveway. It'll tell you where you are financially and point out some of these investment opportunities that Ryan and I just talked about. It'll map where you're going and report daily on your progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define for you your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve your goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends that come sometimes when you get a volatile market like we have right now. It'll update your net worth daily in real time so you'll always know where you are, but more importantly, you'll know where you're going and how long it's going to take you to get there. In addition, we want you to gather all those statements and get them to us because we're going to take all that information and break it down to be certain that you truly have a diversified portfolio. You don't have a collection of investments. You see, there's three key elements of being a successful investor. Diversification, low cost, and high income. We want to look and see if you're truly diversified, not just across asset classes, but also within those asset classes. You know, costs are hidden. We've got an x-ray, which will show you exactly where they're hidden and tell you how to eliminate these unnecessary investment costs. In addition, we want to look at your income. You know, income something we're all thinking about right now. You know, especially those of you 
who aren't going to get a paycheck in the next couple of weeks, it's a scary feeling. Income has to be dependable. It has to be repeatable. And if you're retired right now, boy, your number one goal is to keep it that way. We want to show you how to create a dependable, repeatable income strategy. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to 40 years? That's right. For over four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your point B. That's your goals. That's your dreams with your values with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next eight callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We're doing teleconferences right now, video conferences to go through your portfolios. Take advantage of it while you're home at 844-752-6692. That's call or text at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. You know, Bob, we're now we're in the midst of this corona economic crisis it's really turning out to be a once in a lifetime event, like I just mentioned. I and mean, we've seen the fastest 30% decline ever. And that goes back to the Great Depression. So we've never seen the market decline this quickly. And I know from our perspective, we're talking to everybody right now. There's a lot of things that we've learned from this. And I think one of the big things we've learned, and it's something we've recommended for a long time, is you always have to have a sufficient emergency fund. You know, right? We talk about that ad nauseum almost on a weekly basis. But I want to add something to it. It's not just having an emergency fund. Turns out you have to have an emergency supply to toilet paper. I didn't, and that's one thing that I learned from this crisis. And you can't hoard it and try to sell it on Amazon at a higher price. So that's, <laughs> that's actually an offense. <laughs> so don't do that. But yeah, so it's obviously important and more important than ever to have that emergency fund in place. Other thing is, we've talked about this a lot, but when you're invested in such a way that your portfolio can sustain the kind of blows that we're feeling in the market right now. And a big part of our portfolio, which we preach for a long time, is you have to have a high quality portfolio of bonds, not a bond fund. Because if you remember, we don't like bond funds, but you need something in your portfolio that holds up, especially when the markets are selling off like they have been for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, a, it's very deceiving because I was speaking to a good client the other day. He's actually my attorney. And he said, you know, Bob, he said, I, I, you taught me about bond funds over the last 45 years. And I tell every client that comes in here, you know, when I see their investments, I warn them because I, th- I tell them, unless you've been through one of these panic selling periods, you have no idea how much danger is in that, in that bond fund. And he said, all those people just learned last week that there's an enormous amount of downside risk in something that doesn't have a maturity date. Yeah, which I want to address an issue around that, Bob, because someone did call in and said, well, you guys did a program and said cash is trash. Well, first off, we always said have an emergency fund, but you got to remember, if we're not seeing in cash, that money's in a bond portfolio. And if you own your bonds right outright right now, and they are high quality, that is actually held up just like sitting in cash has during this tumultuous time in the market. So it's just a good point to make. If we're not seeing in cash, which we never are sitting in cash for our investment portfolio, that money has been in high quality bonds, which again, that pays a lot more income than just sitting in cash waiting for the the shoe to drop. Because as you and I know, you can't really predict a big sell-off like this. I couldn't find one analyst at the beginning of the year, economist knew that this was going to happen. Hey, Rye, every week you talk about an all-weather portfolio. And that came into play just the other day. One of my better clients got an opportunity to buy a business that's in trouble, right? That's what happens in, in these situations, something that fits his portfolio and his company. And he was able to borrow, you know, at a very low rate against his municipal bonds for a short period of time to make this purchase. So it's, you know, there's so many options when you have the correct diversified portfolio. And I think what you really meant by cash is trash is it doesn't generate the returns you need. You know, you need an emergency fund, but you need your money working for you with high quality dividends and high quality interest. 
Yeah, because the other thing to think about too is yes, the market is down a lot as we're doing speaking about this right now. You know, the Dow's been bouncing around between 18,000, 20,000. Even so, it's much higher than it was 10 years ago. And if you were just sitting in cash for the last 10 years, you still would have a lower return than if you were invested in the market long term. So, point is, money in the market is long term, but you need to have that high quality bond portfolio as well. Hence, going back to the reason we always say cash is trash and that doesn't change. When you have a big sell-off like we're having right now. Another thing we've learned, Bob, is in this environment with not as much to do because you're trapped at home, maybe, is too much news is not a good thing. No, you know, the news cycles 24-7. Last I checked, they have to sell advertising and they have to attract eyeballs. And the best way to attract your eyeballs is to tell you the worst thing that could possibly happen, right? If it bleeds, it leads. So most of that news is negative, is skewed. And it's going to drive you nuts. That's right. And I think the other thing that's important to remember is you're going to have a lot of people right now telling you exactly what's going to happen next. <laughs> well, they didn't predict what happened before. <laughs> and I, I got a question this week. I was on, it was called Cheddar Television. They asked me, Ryan, you have to have an opinion about where our GDP is going to be in the fourth quarter. And I just flat out said, I have no idea. <laughs> Nobody does. The experts don't know. So, you know, a lot of these predictions that are going to happen right now, I'd stay away from them. They're not going to be valuable because it's really just throwing darts against a board. It's your guess is as good as anybody else's. So, I think you know, Rod, the other day you were on Fox Business with Maria and, I, and Maria said to the healthcare czar, I said, you know, when is this going to stop? When are they, you know, when are we going to have the, and she asked her, she said, you know, when's the curve going to flatten? When are we going to see some light at the end of the tunnel? And she said, Maria, when's the stock market going to bottom? When's the economy going to recover? Maria says, I have no idea. She said, well, how do I, how would I know? It's all data driven, right? So at least you're getting some honest reporting, you know, from some people. But the whole point of fact is no one, no one in history that I've ever met can predict the future or know the unknowable. That's right. That's right. So turn your TV off. They don't know. Yes. Which leads us to one of the, the other things, Bob, that you and I have learned from this is maybe right now your portfolio is going down a lot and you're just sitting there and you're wondering, is it a lot? Is it going to jeopardize my goals? The other thing is what we're learning right now, too, is you may have lost a, a good portion of your portfolio over the last couple of weeks, and you're just wondering, have I lost a lot versus other people? Is it time to get rid of these losses? Well, you know, the one thing is you got to measure that against your goals. And if you didn't have goals to begin with, and that's okay, you know, a lot of us don't, we just got invested and just hope for the best. This is probably a good time to run that financial plan. And then you can kind of get a better idea where you actually are right now, even with all these market losses that'll start to give you a degree of what changes you need to make. Yeah. I mean, without a financial plan, Ry, you're just, you know, you're just throwing darts at a board, right? And if you don't have it written down, if you don't have a wealth projection, you don't have it in writing from your advisor, you don't have a plan, you have a wish, you have a dream. And, you know, you're not going to get to where you're going because your emotions are going to be more important and take over the major functions of your brain, which is to think and do what's prudent for you. Yeah. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to assess the risk in my portfolio or the damage that's been done. Here's your shot to figure that out and get a real game plan in place. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 safe for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's just a full holistic review where we're going to look at the big picture and make good decisions about your portfolio. All you need to do is get your statements together. Uh, given the fact that we are social distancing, you can send it through our, our secure network. We're going to take all that data and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where you can get a bird's eye view of your entire net worth. And then we can start looking at all of those critical components. We're going to look at everything from income. Income is so critical for retirement. Do you have an income plan for retirement? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio and build an income plan for life. We're going to look at diversification. How hard have you gotten hit since the market's been going down over the last couple of weeks? We're going to show you where all the pitfalls, all the risks are in your portfolio to better protect yourself moving forward and bulletproof your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. Yes, there's probably a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. And those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds, we're going to show you where all the hidden costs are show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio, and then we're going to figure out how to optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together in one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? 
All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over $500,000 for retirement. My son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. And what else do I have to do right now? So, you know, text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm sitting here virtually with my son, Rye. And we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. <laughs> It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob and our firm, Payne Capital Management, simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show as a podcast, have it delivered to your email every single week. And I'm sure you're wondering about about Bob's hair. It is real, but check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. And you can catch myself other financial advisors at Payne Capital Management are on all the major networks, everything from Fox Business News, CNBC, to Yahoo Finance, giving our latest views on the economy and the market. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. If it's a really good question, we like to answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we actually got some pretty good questions this past week about, imagine we got a lot of questions last week. And to help us with questions today, we have our producer, Dan Irving, on the line. Mr. Dan Irving, how you uh, holding up here, brother, in uh, self-quarantine? Hello, Ryan and Bob. Uh, yeah, we're practicing some social distancing. I'm not in the studio today. We are remote. You were correct. We did get a lot, a lot of questions. Yeah, so lay, lay them on us, man. <laughs> yeah. Bob's ready. He's got his helmet on, so go <laughs> yes, for it. Sir. Our first question is from Sam in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. And Sam says, Bob... I've kept a large portion of my available cash in bond funds and I've gotten kicked in the teeth over the past few weeks. How do you think about the construction of stop loss triggers in order to remove the emotional roller coaster? And how does one get better at risk tolerance and mitigation? I'm tempted to go all cash and just sit things out for the foreseeable future because I don't have the tolerance to stomach these wild swings. You know, Sam, I think uh, the, the problem you have is you're an ordinary, normal human being like everybody else. We're driven by these two emotions of fear and greed. And when you don't have any control, you know, over what you're investing in, when you when you feel like there's you don't understand what you own and you don't know why you own it, you're always going to fall prey to your emotions when the markets get volatile. Hey Rye, you know, Sam is almost like everyone we've ever met and ever did a plan for in our career. What's a solution for Sam? Well, we talked about this a lot in the beginning of the show is you have to have a game plan. And I think it's really important right now because stop losses, as we learned, don't work. Because what happens is you put your stop loss in, the trader takes that price just down below your stop, gets you out of the position. And then a lot of times the stock will go right back up. So that's never a strategy that's worked. And you and I have learned the hard way through our careers. So that's really important. But I think what we talked about earlier in the show today is you have to have hedges, in this case, a, or a bond portfolio that comes due. Now, going back to that whole cash is trash thing we talked about earlier, look, our portfolios are down for clients. Make no mistake, but the important thing is they're down less. You can always pull from your bonds right now if you needed extra cash to live on. You just need that lifeline in your portfolio at all times because really, it's just about staying in the game here and staying invested and having those hedges to really, really helps. You know, Sam, investing is about process. And we have process-driven portfolios, not event-driven portfolios. You know, all an event like this does for us is give us an opportunity to do a better job of getting our clients rebalanced. But you've got to have that balance for you. You got to know how much risk you need to take, whether you're taking too much or not enough, because running out of money is also a risk. You know, it's not just about making money. It's about having that income, sustainable income, net of inflation and taxation to get you to all your lifetime dreams. Yeah, and I think it goes to what you just said, Bob. I think it's a really important point is you just have to have a strategy. Like I said, our clients are down as well, but because we have a strategy, we have a discipline we're following, it just makes it so much easier to make good decisions in a market like this. 
and not make irrational ones like just go to cash because if the market goes back up tomorrow and rallies big and you miss that boat, uh, you never get those losses back. And it's a really critical point, something to think about here. All right, Sam, thank you for writing in. Our next question is from Sue in Westchester. And Sue says, Ryan, I heard on Bloomberg that many analysts believe that we may not hit bottom until April or May. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on that. Thank you. (laughs) I just love economists and analysts, first off, because their opinions, as the old Warren Buffett joke goes, make fortune tellers look good. I'd rather go to my fortune teller on Bleecker Street (laughs) to give me a projection about the future than than a stock analyst or an economist. Bob, in our experiences, they have no idea. They're not going to get this right. No, I think it's uh, the problem is, you know, on, when I hear someone on Bloomberg or one of these TV shows say, you know, the, the market, uh, what market are they talking about? They're talking about the bond market, the stock market, talking about domestic equities, international equities, talking about real estate or commodities. You know, it's not a, a monolith. You know, there's different types of markets. And that's the real true success is to have a diversified strategy where you don't have to be in the bottom of the top. Matter of fact, if you focus on just buying the lows, market typically goes up most of the time, you'll underperform just a simple dollar cost average approach to investing. It's a good point. And one thing I want to mention too is the World Health Organization back at the end of February basically made an announcement that this virus was going to be an international emergency. Now, there was no analyst at that point that came out and reassessed what they thought earnings were going to be this year. There's no economist that said that GDP was going to get slaughtered some point this year. In fact, it wasn't until the market went 30% lower, close to where we are today, that they, everyone started to cut their estimates. So they didn't know then. How the heck do they know now? <laughs> that's, that's, that's my my question, Bob. But you know, Ryan never changes. I mean, every decline that I've ever gone through, they always have these mutual fund managers on, you know, on the on the national news, and they're one hundred percent invested at all times. I remember, you know, in two thousand and eight, they kept having the same money manager on, and they said, "Well, are, are you buying today?" He, oh yeah, yeah, I'm buying today. He's buying today. He's already in, fully invested. He didn't do anything. <laughs> he never got out. So yeah. you got to be really skeptical about people who who think they know. And here's the answer, right? If you see anyone who told you they know. Ask them to see their bank account. And if they don't have more money than Warren Buffett, then they're not telling you the truth. In terms of being financially organized, where would you rank Sam and Sue? I think they're in panic mode right now. They need a game plan, Bob. I'm sorry. I am not feeling benevolent today. I have to give them both a 1.75, not even quite a two. (laughs) Man, you get decimal points in there now. So let me ask all of you uh, right now, on a scale of one to 10, where would Ryan rank you in terms of being financially organized? Or someone who even knows you better, your spouse, where would they rank you in terms of being financially organized? Are you a 10? Well, why wouldn't you want to be? And if you're thinking, you know, I need to be a 10, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next three callers and you've saved over 500000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now, this is a financial GPS, no different than the one that's in your car. It'll tell you where you are financially. It'll map out where you're going, and report daily on your progress to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your goals. It'll put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter financial plan. And in addition, it'll update your net worth daily in real time so you can drop in to see it anytime you care to look at it. So you'll always know where you are, but more importantly, where you're going, and when you're going to get there. Now, in addition, we want you to get all your statements together, the ones that are just coming in for February, stick them in a shopping bag, put them in a folder, give us a call, because we're going to take all that information and be certain that you don't have just a collection of investments. We want to be sure that you have the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, income, and cost. You know, diversification, you hear about ad nauseum on the financial news. Well, there's true diversification, and then there's a collection of investments. You got to be certain right now that you're fully diversified to survive the volatility of the current marketplace. Costs are something that are hidden, something that the Wall Street does a great job of keeping out of your purview. We'll show you where to look. We'll show you how to eliminate those costs. And income is something we all need to have if we ever get the chance to retire. We got to have that income to replace our our current you know paycheck. But if you're retired right now, then your number one goal is to stay that way, and that requires a dependable repeatable income stream. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one 
total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 45 years. Can you believe it? For four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary can provide. Don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next three callers, you have over $500,000 safe for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We're doing regular reviews. We're doing them over Zoom. We're doing them over Skype. We're doing them over the telephone. Uh, This is a good time while you're home reevaluating your portfolio. Our financial advisors are standing by to review your portfolio at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we're simple men. So of course, we want to keep it simple for you. And that's why we put together our latest guide. We give you five ways to save on taxes this year. And we give you the highlights from the new Secure Act, just some other ways you can save on taxes this year. As we always say, money saved in taxes, just as green as any money can make invested. And a couple of tax strategies you can even use for 2019 taxes. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. 555-888. That's texting the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, the 555-888. We give you five ways to save on taxes. And we give you the highlights from the new Secure Act, which gives you some new ways to save on taxes. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, the 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on our show, my colleague, Bob's colleague, Courtney C. Money Dominguez, Certified Financial Planner at Payne Capital Management. Man, oh man, we just go on and on. <laughs> Courtney. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> how's how's life in quarantine? How are you uh, holding up there in, in Brooklyn? It's good. I mean, you know, life could be worse. We're, we'll all go stir crazy here soon enough, but that's all right. We're better safe than sorry. <laughs> Any tips on uh, how to quarantine better to pass the time besides the thousand of phone calls you're making a day? Yeah, I mean, luckily for us, our, our business actually runs pretty smoothly. We're working remotely, so I wouldn't say I have a lot of downtime. But I think just yeah, keeping your routines as best you can is the best thing you can do right now. Absolutely. And this is our spotlight segment. Each week, we actually take a real case that we've worked on, and we look at the pain points. That's P A Y N E. That you know, a certain couple or person has with their planning, and basically how we help them get on their path to financial freedom. You worked on a case recently. Why don't you give us the rundown and how you were able to help? this couple get on their path to financial freedom. Um, and actually, Ryan, and I, you, you, we worked on this case together. So feel free to jump in on this one. But we met a couple who is in their early 60s and they're not looking to retire, but they just want to make sure, we want to know our investments are set up. We want to make sure that if we were to retire, we were forced into it, or just generally speaking, want to make sure that we're set up in case there's some sort of big market correction. And lo and behold, look where we are right now is exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> so. We took a look at their accounts and went through all of their goal planning. And one of the first things we noticed right off the bat, and I've seen this a lot over the last year, is that they were invested like somebody who's early on in their career. Like they were as aggressive as somebody I would have in their 20s and 30s, not somebody who's getting closer to retirement age. And it's easy to do that as you get complacent as markets are doing so well. But you want to make sure that you start to build some of that safety and just for some of these unforeseen events like right now, and just make sure that you have interest coming in, dividends coming in, because those are going to come into you regardless in times like now. And if you have that safety built in, things like bonds or cash on hand, you can just take advantage of these opportunities. But if you're too aggressive, you just haven't looked at your accounts in a decade and you're just much more aggressive than you should be, you might not be positioned to take advantage of these opportunities as you otherwise would be. And what I love about that is it's process driven because look, we didn't know at the beginning of the year the market was going to take this huge dive. You know, Bob, I don't know about you, my crystal ball hasn't worked in at least two decades. No, I lost mine in college. I don't know where it went. (laughs) And this is where process is so key. I mean, the decision to have a big bond portfolio, not bond funds. Let's let's 
make sure we emphasize that we don't like bond funds. And in fact, bond funds are actually going down right now because of all the liquidations. And we warned that you know, we talked about bond funds a lot in the past, but having a high quality portfolio of bonds that come due, we know from past bear markets, that's typically the only thing that tends to hold up when markets sell off like this. And we do it because it's a process, not because we can predict the future. And I think that's a huge part of having a goal-based strategy. I could agree exactly. more. And I got a question, Rye, for you and Courtney. Were they taking more risk than necessary because we're an eleven year bull market and they never paid attention because they didn't have a financial advisor? I mean, why do people end up this way where they're taking all this risk that's not necessary? This particular client actually did have a financial advisor and they were just really looking for a second opinion and they actually came to us because they knew that their advisor might be retiring in the next few years. Hmm. So they were aware that they were taking this kind of risk, but I don't think they understood how much risk they were really taking until we could break it down for them. And we are able to show in our reviews, like in an event like 2008, which is kind of what we're seeing right now in a big market correction, what kind of risk they're exposed to. So we were able to show them that. And this was luckily um, a couple of weeks ago. So before all of this happened, that they knew the kind of risk they were exposed to and it really opened their eyes to it. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, risk, unfortunately, is always in hindsight, right? We only know now, oh man, I had too much risk in my portfolio after the fact. And that's like, one of the things that Bob and I like to say is the history, you know, history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. And we do, there are software programs that we use that can show in a down market how much you could potentially be down. And to your point, Courtney, we would actually project that out for this couple and say, hey, this is before the market went down. But given the portfolio you have today in the down market, you're going to get hit really, really hard, which would have been the case. Well, that's the thing. That's why you have to have these software tools because you know, the, the problem with our, our industry is everybody looks at how they did from one month to the next because we send out monthly statements. But it's really not how you did last month or last year. It's, it's how you're going to do for the next 10, 15, 20 years. And that's why you need a forward-looking tool to see what will happen if we have normal average returns. You know, are you going to be able to pay your bills? Are you going to be able to live comfortably in retirement? And, yet, and it's just not something you do in a, with a calculator, right? You need, you need to net out inflation. You got to inflate your expenses. You got to look at taxes. You get taxes coming out when you take money out of an IRA. So, you know, you need some complex tools. Not everybody has them available. And you have to have those projections run. And that way, you know. And when you know what you own, you know why you own it, you become a much better investor. Well, as Bob likes to say, Courtney, another financial masterpiece. I know you and the rest of our team, you know, we've been getting together on Zoom calls every day, checking in. I've been working around the clock. So I just want to let you know, I appreciate you. I'm really grateful that we have the great team that we do. And, uh, you know, we're able to keep talking to our clients. And you've done a great job of that. So I appreciate that. I have a baby boomer is getting ready to retire. And I guarantee a lot of them are going to retire after this market. You know, Courtney's looking for great clients and uh, he'll be lucky to have a certified financial planner like C Money Dominguez in your court. <laughs> yeah, so if you're thinking to yourself right now, this is the kind of review I need. I need to assess my risk. I need a game plan now that the markets are down. And I do want to get to my goals. I want to figure out how to do that. Here's a shot to do it. We literally have one slot left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Courtney C. Money Dominguez, Certified Financial Planner, will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. We're working through Zoom right now on a conference call. So you can send your statements in through a secured link and we'll build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can get a bird's eye view of where you are right now with all your finances. Then we can start to hone in and look at all those critical components. We're going to look at everything from income. Income is so critical for retirement. Do you have an income plan? We're going to show you how to build one and optimize the income on your portfolio so you have a stream of income you can outlive in retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Look, our portfolios are down two right now, but not down as much because they're diversified. Did you get hit really hard when this market went down? We're going to show you how we structure our portfolios to weather these storms so you can protect yourself for retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's probably a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio. You don't know you're paying in these mutual funds, annuities, insurance products. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio, then optimize your portfolio for taxes and take advantage of some tax opportunities right now, like tax swaps, Roth conversions. So there's more money in your pocket for retirement. We're going to tie it all together in one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that very, very critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, 
is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we've been working on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, don't miss out. Be our next caller if you've saved over 500000 for retirement. Courtney, Rye and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost, but there won't be a plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Well, another great show. And I think one question that's on everyone's mind, Court, what's the best show you're watching on streaming right now? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I've actually been doing a lot of comedy specials on Netflix right now. There's a ton of great ones. And I think getting all of our mind off the doom and gloom, a good laugh has been good for me. So, <laughs> any, any specific comedians that our listeners should uh, be aware of to be watching? Uh, oh, there, there's oh, there's a ton out there. I, I, I think last night we watched one that just came out from Tom Segura. There's plenty out there. I think it just kind of depends on your own taste, but um, a good laugh. I recommend. I like that, Bob. What's what show? What's your pick? I watch Wall Street every night, Ryan. <laughs> Sounds depressing. <laughs> I and mean, I suggest Tiger King. It's amazing. Netflix. Uh, <laughs> another great show. As always, be bullish. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I'm really unsure what to do, who to speak with uh, before I make a really silly and costly decision, especially right now with the markets in turmoil, well, we can put together a game plan for you. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will put together for you our financial planning game plan. You simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We'll do a full analysis of your portfolio, your net worth. We'll build you your own personalized portal. And we'll look at all the critical components to your portfolio, everything from having an income game plan to know how you're going to structure your portfolio for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. You may have gotten hit really hard these past couple of weeks as the market came down. How do you bulletproof and protect your portfolio for the future? And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's probably a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio and optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's a lot of tax swaps. Roth conversions, a lot of things you can do proactively on your portfolio right now. So if you'd like a game plan, simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan and make sure you're on track with your finances and investing.